Hey, what's going on? You're tuned into the Daily Geek right here on SweetGeek.tv. I'm your host, Griffin Granberg, and today is September 23rd, 2008. It's the big T Mobile announcement day, so let's get to the geek news starting off with story number one, which is the big announcement from T Mobile about the T Mobile G1 with Google. Now, we know, we know some information. It's going to have Wi Fi, GPS, a camera, some Bluetooth capability, a nice talk time duration, but what is the price? $179 with a two-year contract. Now, the phone's going to be available starting October 22nd, which is huge. The plan for unlimited web and messaging is going to be $35. Now, what about my international viewers? When are you going to get the T-Mobile G1 with Google? Well, it looks like UK, you're going to get it sometime in early November, and the rest of Europe, you're going to have to wait till quarter one of 2009. Now, you are going to be sim-locked to T-Mobile, but you know what? I'm really excited about this phone. For some reason, I'm more excited about this phone than the iPhone, which is pretty crazy. Let's move on to story number two, which is also about the Google Android platform and how Amazon has an awesome application where you actually can go to Amazon, their application, and then search for music or what have you, and then you click on it, one click, you buy and download. How about that? Pretty cool application. I know it's a huge announcement, but let's continue on with the geek news with story number three. The FTC is warning companies that you better be more clear about what you're targeting and what you're tracking with behavioral targeting online advertisements. Now, uh, if they don't do that, they're saying, hey, you face regulation by the government. Lots of people don't want that, so hopefully they'll get in line. Moving on to story number four, Technorati has released the state of the blog Osphere. That's right, the state of the blogosphere for 2008 by Technorati is out. It basically tells you who's blogging, what they're blogging about, how much they're making blogging, all sorts of blogging statistics. Now, if this interests you, make sure you check out the link on the interesting links below, which is on our main site, sweetgeek.tv. Moving on to story number five, Cisco is buying the IM platform Jabber, and of course, no financials disclosed, unfortunately, but they're basically buying Jabber to bolster its own line of internet-based communications, which is a good deal for Cisco, in my opinion, and congratulations to Jabber, who is based out of Denver, which isn't too far from here in Fort Collins. Moving on to story number six, last story of the day, a big rumor about Windows Mobile 7 not actually going to be coming out, like Microsoft says, in early 2009, but rather delayed until late 2009. Now, hopefully this isn't true because Microsoft really needs to get, you know, get going with this mobile stuff, especially with Google Android platform, iPhone, all that stuff. So hopefully not true, or if it is true that they somehow are able to battle these two huge platforms. And that is the Geek News for September 23rd, 2008. I'm your host, Griffin Granberg, for The Daily Geek on SweetGeek.tv, and I'll catch you right back here tomorrow.